Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 600 Seconds. This time, it's my boy, Vicstar. One, two, three. Hello. Please say the HD. HD, plays. Plays. Whatever you want. Sideman, Vicstar. All of the above. All right, here we go. Uh, why don't you guys have an esports team? We don't have an esports team because I would say, one, none of us actually have an interest in esports, which I think is key. I feel like to create a business in anything, you have to to some degree have an interest in that space mm -hmm. and then an amount of time you're able to allocate yep. into creating something good in that space. That's been one of our things with our channels, with our events, companies, clothing. We don't want to release something unless it's the best it can be. And it's just where do we find the time to go into something that we don't have any understanding or experience of and then create something that's going to be good, that's going to be quality. We don't want to put our name on something yeah, of course. that might not. So realistically it's a case of either really finding that personal people that we trust uh, that can create it for us or somehow us taking our own interest in creating it ourselves which probably won't happen is and is why it hasn't happened so far that's my uh, take on it but soon who knows yeah okay so there's no so, no so there. it's, it's, it's not a no it's yeah, just yeah, yeah. Uh, haven't got there yet all right what is the funniest moment you've ever experienced in your youtube career the one that always sends out first one that comes to mind oh that's, I mean, it's, it's just in the back of my memory. I'm sure there's a funnier moment. Yeah. But we recorded a video called the Sidemen Total Wipeout Challenge. Okay. And it's a little obstacle course. And at the end of the obstacle course, there's two people stood in the Zorb balls. Mm -hmm. There's a slip and slide mat and there's a goal. And it's Ethan's turn to run the course. This is also Ethan when he's quite a bit bigger. Yeah. He's, he's, he's a stocky character. Yeah. And he gets past... He, First, he gets knocked to the ground and like jumped on by the people in, yeah. the, in the balls. <laughs> he then gets up and he thinks he's fine. He carries on running towards the slip and slide mat. Harry, who's always known for taking it too far and being too reckless in videos, runs up behind him in this Zorb. He has no idea. He's completely unsuspecting. You can see this on the video and runs into him and he just goes bang he just falls <laughs> flat on his chest yeah and it was honestly one of those moments where like we all laugh really hard they were like oh wait oh god that was actually like really he, luckily he was okay definitely couldn't could have been not okay and then it wouldn't have been funny but just just i've never seen anyone fall usually like people fall slowly yeah that was like a quick like he stood up he's yeah. face down so quickly there have been a lot of injuries inside my videos that are yeah. hilarious and kind of make it what it is, but we're definitely on a borderline. What's your favorite video that you've ever done on the Sideman channel? Favorite video we've ever done on the Sideman channel? That's a very tough one. So favorite to watch is when we did the $100 versus $10,000 holiday. Mm -hmm. Even though I was on the team that got the $100 holiday and it was awful, just a comparison between one group and the other group, I think was Dude, that's really, such a good idea. Really Ethan was just watch. talking about that yesterday. Yeah. We sat with this dude that was just, uh, you know, a, a random fan that, that knew both of us. He sat mm. with us and, you know, I asked him and he that's the one that he said. He that's said, like our biggest hit recently. I think it hit like 10 million when, views. When was that? When was that? It was about three, four weeks ago and it's hit 10 million views already. So. Jeez. I haven't watched it, but I got it now. I the two, two people did it. Yeah. Uh, that picture behind you, you score the penalty goal. Yes. Is that one of your favorite moments of all time? Having the, how many people was that? Um, it was, I, th I think it was in the stadium, it was around 17,000. Online, about 550,000. Yeah. Yeah, that has to be the highlight of anything I've ever done. Yeah. That was just one of those moments where, typically I've never been any good at football. I'd never played growing up as a kid. Well, when the Sidemen first started doing football videos, the, the meme was the fact that I was awful. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, that was edited in, that was funny. And I've always been so okay with people laughing at me. Yeah. I, you know, I didn't care. As long as people are laughing yeah. and they find it funny. Never take care yourself too seriously. Yeah, I, like they can be laughing at me, with me, I don't care. Um, but then kind of go from that to a point where I kind of started focusing on my fitness a bit more, trying to kind of compete in these matches to the point where there's a penalty kick and every, the entire focus of this entire stadium and this entire online thing is me. Mm -hmm. And I'd practice that penalty kick, you know, 500 times in our back garden. Probably missed the goal entirely about no. half of those times. Um, to somehow the stars aligned and I yeah. managed to score past a six foot three goalkeeper. Yeah. Um, and then being carried. And then, yeah, lifted up by players of our team and the other team. Everyone was kind of happy for that to happen. It was something the fans had wanted to see. 
um, for the longest time. So that was an iconic moment. That you know what's crazy? Uh, Castro said the same thing that that was like your 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 event is yeah. like one of his his favorite moment. Scoring the goal and being able to do his celebration was was yeah. super super legit. Um, all right, so now to some some goofier questions. Okay, uh, what is one song that you have that you listen to that you don't want other people to know that you listen to? Oh, um, Cascada every time we touch. It's a banging tune. Do you know the song? <laughs> no. It's like it's like a it's like a Euro pop. Mm-hmm. Like what's it called? Cascada. Cascada every time we touch. Every time we it's touch. Like, that's like one embarrassing th- song that I can just. What is the dumbest thing you ever done for love? For love. Yeah, the dumbest thing. <sighs> now that is. I don't think I have anything for this. No. I don't think I've ever done anything dumb for love. Duh. Maybe maybe I've got time to. No, yeah, you're 23. Man. Time to carry on with that one. Uh, what is the dumbest thing you ever spent your money on? Ooh, okay. Like one thing where you're just like. Yep. Okay. So I definitely know it. Um, I went on a night out in London um, to a club where like the table was paid for. They brought us up drinks, whatever. It was great. Probably had a little bit too much to drink. Started chatting to one of the like club promoters who'd set it up. And for some reason, at the end of the night, even though most of the people I knew had left, in fact, everyone I knew had left, he was like, let's go to an after party. And I was like, this is when I just started going out in London. And I was like, yeah, sure, why not? So it's me, this club promoter I don't really know, like, and then like this girl and her friend that I don't really know. And we're going to this after party. I'm like, yeah, whatever. It's like, I think like half past four in the morning. Yeah. And he's saying this place is hype, but nowhere's really that hype at 4.30 in the morning. Yeah takes us to this random club and they're like, the minimum spend to get in is a thousand pounds. And you have to pay for all four of them? Well, no, no, it's like oh. for the table for okay. all of okay. us yeah, to get yeah. in. So I'm there with all these people. And if I was sober or now, I'd be like, I'm not paying a thousand pounds to go into a club at 4.30 a.m. when yeah. I'm already wasted. And, it's gonna and I'm with people I don't know and it's gonna close in an hour and a half. Yeah. But I was like there in the moment. I was like, so bottle service. Yeah, bottle service. Everybody says that. Every single person that ever that's always in here says bottle service. Oh, that's their biggest regret. Yeah, just I don't in general. Even, yeah, uh, but this was just one. The thing is, I don't mind. Like, I'll pay for bottle service if I'm out with like a group of my good friends yeah. and like we're all gonna have like a good night because of it. But this is like I'm not with my friends. <laughs> it's late in the night. And like I and I always would be so drunk as well. I'm like I'm buying bottles to drink when I'm already so drunk. Yeah. So we like get inside and it was just like the weirdest night. I'm making like small talk with this random guy I don't know. I'm trying to drink like a third of a bottle of vodka because I paid no. for it. So I'm like- You didn't want it to go to waste? No, I didn't want it to go to waste. Oh man. So I just get super drunk. And I'm like, I paid all this money for <laughs> such an awful experience. But it's one of those ones where I was just like, just, just go with the flow, but it did not go well. I should have just thought, I'm going to go home and go to bed now. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. that would be it. Uh, YouTube dies tomorrow, shuts off. Yes. They turn the lights off. Okay. What's your new job? What do you go for? Uh, oof, completely shuts off. I mean, a Twitch streamer, but that's a bit of a cop-out okay, we're, 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 we're cutting Twitch and nothing. you can't so you do can't, gaming. You can't game for a living. Yeah. What am I doing? Honestly, I would probably start doing travel vlogs. So this would be like- Well, YouTube shut off. YouTube, oh, you got me there. No, that's, uh, okay. So that's gaming of YouTube. Um, Ah, What's one job in the world that you think that you'd be good at? That's a tough one. I mean, a small. I, I'd like to say, oh, like I'd go and finish my science degree and I'd become a scientist. But I honestly <laughs> feel like I'm too far gone. Yeah. Well, what does what does being a scientist even mean Research as a job? Something I don't know. Like, like as a job, stuff. what do you do as a scientist? If anybody out there is a fucking scientist, <laughs> what is your job? What do you do? Research something like I don't know. Maybe I'd go and like yeah. learn about like black holes and space and yeah, astrophysics. Yeah, but how, who pays you for this? The, the government. Like I'd probably pay myself to go and study. Yeah, no, but what I'm saying is like it's a job, and I'm not and I'm not talking oh, shit to scientists. Yeah. I love be, science. You know. Yeah, it's like how I mean, do they get paid? Like yeah. what do they do? Like doctors, they get paid to operate. And, Astrophysics, it's got to be yeah, government funded. I guess they allocate for research. Yeah, into what's out there. NASA pays for it. If you weren't living in the UK, mm-hmm. where would you be living? London. London's the number one. Yeah, if you weren't living in anywhere in the UK. Oh, if I wasn't living. Sorry, yeah. sorry, I thought you said it. Or you were living in the UK. Oh, that is a really tough one. Um, I love Miami, but to visit, not to live, I don't yeah. think. Um, I really like Toronto. Toronto could be up there. It's one of the North American cities I feel that's most similar to London. Yeah. Uh, I really like the Canadian people a lot. 
people a lot. I just, I'm familiar with it. I've got a lot of friends that live there. New York is potentially up there just because it competes with the kind of bustle of London. Um, it would be probably one of those two, New York or Toronto, I would have to say. Very cool. London will be one of mine. Thank you for stopping by, brother. I appreciate Perfect. you. We'll see you guys on the next one.